Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Daily Vibration. But most importantly, I want to thank you for tuning in and checking into you today, right? So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy, and we are doing the Daily Vibration for today, June 4th, 2021. Now keep in mind that energy is fluid. So if you do not click on this episode or on this video uh, on the 4th of June in 2021, feel no worries, right? Energy is fluid. So you want to be able to take the message if it resonates and leave what you do not need okay now it is self-love friday first of all and we are at day number 68 on our level up journey we have 32 more days left to go and then we made it y'all right we did it we've been committed to doing something for at least 68 days now, right? So you should have committed yourself to something. I can say this. If you've been consistent for the past 68 days, you would have seen some changes, something different, you know? Um, so don't count yourself out. Like just being committed to you and being committed to tap in into you for 68 days where you're evaluating your shit, right? And healing and loving and feeling and being and doing Right from a place within you where you're grounding yourself, it's an amazing feeling. It's it's like an amazing feeling, guys. So I want to say applaud yourself on day number sixty-eight as we are moving through our self-love Friday. Now the thought of the day that you're going to be thinking about today is accountability. Right, uh, and uh, heads up, guys, if you are tuning in via YouTube, you will not be getting the uh, picture of the cards in this episode. I am still on um you know the allergy medicine and I did not get a chance to snap the pictures before I had to run out and take care of some other stuff and I'm actually tired now you know so I am not going to be able to have that you're not going to see um the cause in this episode so my apologies about that right uh but I'm just going to just read you kind of like what the wisdoms are within the card and honestly speaking like we are pulling from the goddess uh guidance oracle deck today for self-love friday i kind of felt like we needed to tap into a goddess type energy and whether you're male or female it doesn't matter because energy is about balancing your feminine and your masculine side right so it doesn't really matter everybody needs to tap into their feminine aspect which is your emotional aspect which is how you feel right so that's the indicator right to let you know where you are where you're going and maybe what you may need to address or adjust in your life right so self love friday you're thinking about accountability today right are you taking accountability for what you put out into the world and what you put out into the space that you've created for yourself what you put into your relationships what you put into yourself are you taking accountability for all of those things are you taking accountability for what you don't do right that you're supposed to be doing right are you taking accountability for what you do do that you're not supposed to be doing are you taking accountability just for the places and the spaces in your life when you know that you may have fell short right are you taking accountability for those things right and when you're taking accountability it's easy to be able to change states and jump into a whole jump into a whole new position but you have a different perspective on things right when you begin to kind of take accountability you Begin to understand that you've now placed yourself in a driver's seat. Let me give you an example. Do you know like every time you have to get into a discussion or an argument with someone, right? Let's just say you have to get into um, communicating with someone and the uh, emotions and the tension get high, right? Do you know that you just taking accountability for your portion can calm things down? Because once you've owned your part in something, how can someone still fight with you, right? There's nothing to fight about. I am going to own that I did X, Y, Z, that I said X, Y, Z, that I feel X, Y, Z, right? I'm going to own that. You are not responsible for my feelings. You are not responsible for my doings, right? Although you may have triggered some of the things, right? You are still not responsibility for me throwing a temper tantrum. You are not responsible for me not loving myself. You are not responsible for me not believing in myself. You are not responsible for me doing those things. And I 
right? I have to take accountability for that. I have to take accountability that I'm not loving me right. I have to take accountability that I'm staying in relationships that does not fulfill my purpose, not even on a level of love, right? I'm not even talking about your purpose and your mission to give into other people. I'm just talking about staying in relationships and situations, right? That is not generating love. That is not cultivating love. Are you taking accountability for the fact that you are where you are because you choose to be? Now, I'm going to say this again. You are where you are because you choose to be. Now, in some aspects, I'm not even asking you to look at the physical aspect here because the physical aspect or the physical appearance of where you are is really just an expression of where you are mentally and emotionally, right? So your physical experiences, the house, the cause, the bills, right? Really govern where you are mentally. Now, some people can have a lot of um, cars, a lot of houses, you know, a lot of money. But where they are mentally, it's still reflected around their surroundings. So if you buy a whole bunch of things to fill up this hole in this void called love, right? If you buy a whole bunch of things to replace that thing, your environment is going to reflect that. You know, you ever see that sometimes you can walk into someone's home and their home feels very homely and love and just warm and inviting. And then you walk into someone else's home and it feels very cold, very isolated. You know, everything is very um, just straight line. There's no curves. There's no color, you know, and even if there's color there, like energetically, it's just something is off there. So like I'm explaining to you guys, right, this is something that you really have to pay attention to. Taking accountability. Taking accountability can literally put you in the driver's seat of your own experiences, of your own life, of your own life. Just taking accountability, right? That's super important for you to understand as you're moving throughout this energy today. Take accountability for how you feel. Take accountability for what you do. Take accountability for what you say. Take accountability for how you behave. Right? Take accountability. That's it. Now, remember, we're also practicing observation without judgment. So once you take accountability and you own your shit, right, you then want to observe without judgment. Observe yourself and how you react. Observe yourself and how you judge other people. And the same thing that you're judging other people for, you can find that within yourself. That's one of the things I often have to remind myself of is like, okay, if I find like I'm getting into a judgmental place, right? I I try to make no, okay, that's judgy. That's number one. Uh, But number two, spirit always find a way to remind me that you you really can't judge another people because that's kind of like judging yourself. At the end of the day, we don't know why people do the things that they do outside that they may have been triggered, right? And if people are not working on their triggers within this energy, that is going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. This is why I'm asking you guys to take accountability. That's going to be a problem in this energy. All right? So let's hop into this. You guys know the deal, right? The sun is currently positioned in Gemini. So that's the house of communication, right? That's also the house where um, it deems short-term travel. Okay, so we're talking about maybe trains, buses, and and stuff like that. But you can find, you know, uh, locally you can find delays. You can find buses running late, okay, because we are in retrograde season, right? You can also find electronics acting a little wonky, so you want to be mindful of that too, right? We now have the moon in Aries. That's ruled by Mars. So we're talking about protection and war. That's action-driven energy. That energy can also bring in a, a, a hint of focus for you, okay? So you can focus within this energy and you can declare clear your I am. You can develop your personality within this energy, right? So you can find within the Gemini aspect in the sun today and with the moon in Aries, people can be spinning today. Like people can be very in their feelings and and because of the miscommunication, you can find people exploding, right? You're just throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Instead of having a conversation, you might find that some people want to have a full-blown fist fight. And, And you can also find within this energy that conversation can turn into a full-fledged screaming match if you're not careful. Remember, we are in retrograde season in Mercury and people are spinning out because not everyone is taking accountability. So if you're owning and taking accountability for your shit, then when other people project, you're not going to be uh, taking it personal because you've already taken accountability. Not to say that you're not going to be triggered because you're going to have to watch your triggers, right? However, you put yourself back into your own driver's seat 
right? When you begin to take accountability, you're not leaving this to anyone else. Okay. So we're going to start off with the wonderful, wonderful air element. Okay. Um, and within the air element, we're talking about Gemini. We're talking about Libra and we're also talking about Leo's energy. If you are not a Gemini, a Libra, uh, what am I saying? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Not Leo, y'all. I know I'm getting tired. <laughs> so it's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, okay? So what you can do within the Gemini energy, if you're not a Gemini, you can tap into your communication skills, um, how you think, how you communicate, okay? Uh, versus how you don't think or what you're not communicating, right? The Libra energy, you can balance Versus I don't balance. What areas in your life needs balance? Okay. Libra is ruled by Venus. So you're bringing in that love, that nurturing aspect. Okay. Um, and, and, and Libras can tend, you know, within that energy, if you're not a Libra, that sign can tend to be a, pe- a peacemaker and a people pleaser. So you want to be able to watch that energy because balance in, in all things is going to be required. Aquarius, you can tap into what you know versus what you don't know. This is freedom and uniqueness. Really walking in your purpose, right? Or at least standing in your truth, your truth and your essence of who you truly are, right? So your message today is coming from Kuan Yin, right? And it's talking about compassion today, my wonderful ear energy, right? So we're talking about if you're not an ear sign, applying this to your mental and your spiritual thinking. And Kuan Yin is asking you to have compassion today. I just sat and talked about judgment. So here, here in this ear element, and I'm a Gemini moon, so I'm going to grab this too. Within this air element is asking you to release judgments about yourself and others, right? You're going to have to focus in love and the light. And, um, and also, I want to say focus in the dark places within you that hold the mysteries and the secrets, okay? The dark places in, within you that allows you, my love, right, to release, to release things, right? Tap into your aspect of yourself that you run from and when you begin to take accountability you can tap into your shadow side that that will do lots for you in this energy okay so Kuan Yin is asking to be compassionate and stop judging people okay um yeah if some of you straight yeah you may need to straight up stop gossiping um about somebody that you don't like right and sending them a lot of bad vibes okay All right, now we're going to go to the wonderful water energy. Water energy is going to be about your feelings, your emotions. If you are not a water sign, you can apply this to Cancer, you can apply this to Scorpio, and you can apply this to Pisces. If you are not a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, my love, you can still tap into this energy, right? It's going to be all about how you feel within the Cancerian energy or how you don't feel, right? And that's your intuition and your instincts energy um, within that Cancer's energy. But Scorpio energy is about transformation, right? I desire versus what I don't desire and being able to transform, right? So be open to the transformation within your emotions. If you're going to be tapping in to the element of Scorpio, right? Now, Pisces brings in a great level of understanding uh, within the 12th house energy. Uh, It is also the house of illusions, right? This is the house where you're going to have to learn how to serve or you're going to be sacrificing some stuff, right? So be mindful of that, right? Bringing in understanding how you're feeling, what your your desires are and, and being in touch with your emotions is what you can tap into for the water element. Okay. Now you guys have, um, uh, one of the goddess popping popping up is you guys have, um, Lakshmi. Okay. Bright future. Lakshmi is saying, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. You also have, um, Rahanyan. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that one properly. Um, guys, um, and this is a sorceress energy. Um, and this is asking you to tap into your magical powers, right? It's saying you are a magical person who can manifest your desires, okay? Uh, manifest into your reality once you are focusing with clear intention. So you want to get clear about what you want and allow your emotions to subside. If you're, you know, wishy-washy with your emotions, right? Uh, you want to allow that to subside and stop all of the worrying. And you want to be able to tap into the sorceress energy where you're manifesting from that place, right? Manifesting from that place of love instead of a place of worry. Manifesting from a place of abundance instead of a place of lack, okay? Now... We're going to hop on over to the wonderful fire element. Fire element is going to be Aries, Leo, and 
and Sagittarius. If you are not an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, you are going to apply this energy, all right, to your intuitive nature or maybe action or movement in your life, right? So Aries, you can tap into your I amness. This is first house energy, okay? We're talking about your personal self. How do you want to be seen? Who are you establishing yourself as, okay? Fifth house energy is Leo, your ego, your will, your confidence, self-mastery, self-discipline, okay? And Leos can also be very warm and very caring and very nurturing if they master their ego, you know, because that underlying tone sometimes, you know, you want to have all of the light and you don't want to uh, help, you know, have other people to get their shine, right? Now, so you don't have to be a Leo to be operating in this archetype. You can be tapping into this energy without being a Leo, okay? You got Sagittarius that's all about your perception. How do you perceive this, right? Um, this is a very intuitive sign. This is a sign of higher learning, all right? So it's also, you know, ruled by Jupiter, which is about expansion. So you have those aspects going on within the fire energy if you're not a fire sign and you can tap into any of those elements, okay? Now, I do want to say this, okay? Your message is Yamiya. And Yamiya is saying golden opportunities are now here, right? Important doors are opening for you right now. All you have to do is walk through them. That's it. Walk through them. Give yourself permission emotionally. Give yourself permission mentally, right? Take responsibility and accountability, especially in the physical realm, okay? Uh, and you want to apply the things that you're learning as you're moving forward, all right? So now, last but not least, we got the wonderful earth element, okay? Earth element is going to be Taurus. It's also going to be Capricorn, and it's going to be Virgo. All right, so if you are not a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, you can apply this to the physical area of your life, the material realm, right? But you can also say Taurus energy is about what I have versus what I don't have, right? That's Venus's energy again, so you're going to have to be mindful about that because that energy can be overindulgent, right? So watch that, okay? Now, uh, you got Capricorn's energy I use versus I don't use. How are you utilizing things? We got it ruled by Saturn, the timekeeper. All right, keeping track of how you are spending your energy, how you are planting your time, where you're planting your emotions, and then you will reap the reward in those areas, right? You got Virgo's energy that can overanalyze things or Virgo's energy can analyze things and bring in great understanding, especially from the point of your health and your well-being, okay? So you want to be mindful of that energy. Uh, if you're tapping into any of the earth signs and your message today is sage is saying quiet time is needed okay now is the time for you to get quiet and alone time and rest and meditate and contemplate right so today you may have to find yourself going into home uh what i was gonna say hermit mode holding on to that quietness within so you can gain the understanding. So you're going to hone in, right, to your inner self. Get that quiet time. Like, a, zoom in emotionally to what's going on, right? Zoom in emotionally to what's going on. Ruling number of the day is number six. Willpower and ego, right? Self-love Fridays is all about you being able to focus on you. What are you doing for yourself today? And as you're moving throughout that, you want to ask yourself, am I taking accountability, you know, for the things that I'm um, experiencing in my life? Am I taking accountability for those things? You know, and, and another thing I want to say, along with accountability, operate from a place of gratitude. You'll be surprised to see what gratitude can bring into your experience. Okay. So y'all know the deal. Okay. Do something kind for yourself. Okay. You want to love yourself. You want to honor yourself. I'm going to see those of you that are doing, um, the level up lectures. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, on the lecture. And then I also want to say, don't forget, we're doing a meditation in the lecture tomorrow. So you want to come in with your intention and we're going to break down the energy and go through all of that, my loves. Uh, trust in your intuition and communicate on the spiritual realm. That class is coming on up in August. I'm super excited about that. We got currently 32 more days left. So we only got about a month left on this journey and we have done it, y'all. Like we, 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 almost at the finish line with this okay so be consistent show up for yourself all right love yourself and once again don't be afraid of the dark my loves because out of darkness comes enlightenment i'm gonna see you guys in tomorrow's daily vibration have a wonderful wonderful self-love friday bye guys